Hi and welcome. I have extremely important findings from different scientific studies about vegetable oils intake and risk of coronary heart diseases, and I want to share it with you today. I do stress watch throughout this video, because you need to understand the physiology and the interventions that can help you take control of your wellness. The intake of vegetable oils, such as sunflower, soybean, safflower, corn, and canola oils has skyrocketed in many countries worldwide. These vegetable oils are very rich in omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids, especially linoleic acid. Although linoleic acid is an essential omega-6 fatty acid, however, it is needed in small amount. It is important for you to know that the extreme consumption of vegetable oils and foods containing vegetable oils, led to an excessive intake of linoleic acid, which now makes up about 10% of the total energy intake in the Western world. This has had serious detrimental consequences for health and the development of cardiovascular diseases. Research has revealed that in the US between 1959 and 2008, linoleic acid concentration in subcutaneous adipose tissue increased 2.5-fold, specifically, from 9.1% to 21.5%. The findings from the study also showed that such increase of linoleic acid in adipose tissue, is correlated with increased prevalence in cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, and asthma. The omega-6 fat, linoleic acid, should not be confused with conjugated linoleic acid, found in pastured animal foods. The results from another study demonstrated that the amount of linoleic acid present in adipose tissue and platelets, is associated with coronary artery disease. In contrast, omega-3 levels in platelets are inversely related to coronary artery disease. Now, L will tell you in more details, how linoleic acid promotes the development of coronary artery diseases. Atherosclerosis is a degenerative process that involves the accumulation of cholesterol, fats and other substances in the walls of arteries, which restrict blood flow and cause inflammation and cardiovascular diseases. This atherosclerosis process begins with the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. Therefore, it is critical to identify what causes LDL cholesterol to become oxidized in the first place. Research has revealed that the oxidation of LDL cholesterol is initiated by the oxidation of linoleic acid, which is contained within the LDL cholesterol particles. Linoleic acid is indeed the most common oxidized fatty acid present in LDL cholesterol. Moreover, elevated linoleic acid intake augments the linoleic acid content of very low-density lipoprotein and HDL cholesterol that become more susceptible to oxidation increasing further the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Also, linoleic acid has been found to increase the accumulation of LDL cholesterol in the walls of arteries and promote inflammation, which are considered an essential step in the atherosclerosis process. Now, let's pose for a second and keep the big picture in mind. There is compelling evidence to suggest that the amount of linoleic acid, especially when consumed from refined omega-6 vegetable oils, is the root cause of atherosclerosis, inflammation and coronary artery disease development. Furthermore, linoleic acid is associated with increased obesity, diabetes and asthma. Whereas, omega-3 fatty acids have a protective effect on cardiovascular health. So, what can you do to help protect your cardiovascular system and your health? You should be aware that the solution to this problem is not just to increase the omega-3 intake, which is extremely important, but it is also important to reduce considerably the consumption of vegetable oil and linoleic acid. This because, as I explained to you, increased consumption of omega-6 polyunsaturated fats and linoleic acid is bad for your health, and also they can reduce omega-3 in the body. So, avoid vegetable oils altogether, buy instead extra virgin olive oil, preferably cold pressed. Olive oil not only is good for your health, but also it makes your food taste better. Be aware that vegetal oils are added to many types of foods. So, when you go to the grocery store, read the label and buy healthy foods without vegetable oils. Include in your diet adequate amount of omega-3 rich fish, such as salmon, sardines and mackerel. Omega-3 fatty acids are very good for your health and help protect your cardiovascular system. Also, performing physical activity enhances fitness and improves health. Thanks for watching, and make it a great day. 
please share your experience in the comments below, and describe the strategies that you have implemented for eliminating from your diet vegetable oil and foods containing vegetable oil.